Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be working on a CBK GY6 carburetor. Now the carburetor I had on my scooter, I think failed. The I did the idle speed screw and I did the fuel mixture screw and I also checked the uh, throttle cable. Everything seemed to, everything seemed to turn out okay. So every time I start the scooter up and I would give the scooter full throttle, the scooter would automatically bog down. So the only conclusion I have is the butterfly valve is bad. So let's get into it. All right, so this is the CBK GY6 carburetor. And here is the butterfly valve. All right, so every time I, every time when the throttle cable linkage goes through, goes through here and gets hooked right in here, okay? Goes there, and every time I hit the throttle, all right, it's supposed to open up like this, as you see. Now, for some reason, I think this is bad because every time I every like I, like I mentioned, every time I hit the throttle, okay, it doesn't. I don't think it's opening up the way it should. So, I'm going to be taking. I'm going to be taking everything off this carburetor, everything off, and I'm going to be using this shell. Now, as far as I know, I think this 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 shell of a carburetor still works, and I guess we'll find out. So, so let me take everything off here, put it on here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the three screws out from the bowl. that now I'm going to take this is the uh, this right here this is the pilot jet this is the main jet and this is the main jet tube so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the whole entire main jet tube out just like so okay like that now I take the pilot jet out to the spare actually put it there and I'll take screw it out okay. That. okay all right I'm gonna take so I'm basically just gonna take everything off this right now so I don't have to uh, worry about anything. All right, so I got my battery power drill. Now things will come out a little faster, a little faster and easier. Okay. I'll take the auto and choke richener off. Stays with that. Now I have to take the throttle cable, throttle plate off. Trying, I'm gonna try to keep everything all all in order, so I so I know exactly where everything goes back. Not that I don't know where everything goes back. Okay, that like that. I gotta take. Got myself a little pick here because right here, I mean, hope you can see that right here is a little, a uh, little, it's like a hard plastic piece of rubber or pl hard, I think hard plastic rubber or plastic or rubber piece. Okay, that goes there. I got to uh, <clears throat> undo the fuel mixture screw. Okay. 
Now, as I take this now, as I take this fuel mixture screw out, okay, it comes down like this. All right, there should be a spring, as you see right there. All right, and if I hit it, okay, and sorry, let's get this in frame. Right up inside of here is a washer and a rubber O ring. All right, so I'm trying to, okay, so I'm gonna try to hit him. Sometimes it doesn't come out, sometimes it does. All right, so I got myself another pick and a uh, precision screwdriver. So I got to try to get that. Hey, okay, nope, that's not going to work. Let's see if I can get out this one. It's, it's in there. All right, let me figure out, let me figure out, uh, let me figure out what tool would be best to get in there to get that uh, washer and rubber O-ring out. Alright, so I end up using a smaller precision uh, screwdriver, flathead, okay, and all I basically did is I took carefully, and all I did, move this out of the way, and I, all I did is I basically went in here and tried to keep, you know, doing, keep going in, rubbing like inside, and it came out, and then, or if it doesn't, or if it, then the other thing I did is I basically took the, Put against the wall broke down and this is what i was trying to get out which i got out right there so this 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 is the uh metal washer this is the rubber o-ring and these so the metal washer goes on here first and the rubber o-ring goes on the second just like that Okay, so now that that's done, this red, this uh, this is a um, overflow tube, so this just comes off. All right, so everything else, everything else seems to be off. Okay, so now, now we're gonna try this one. All right, so here's the spare. Okay, now what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take this. This is like a this mixture screw. I'm gonna put the mixture screw right, right down in here. Okay. Sometimes it sometimes it'll be tricky. Other times it won't. Okay. Let's put on like that. All right. Somehow that. Okay. See if I can try doing it this way. Uh, all right, I'm doing it this way, just like this. Keep going until it stops. Oh, sorry about that. Got camera down. And now I take the flathead screwdriver and I basically just screw it in. Till it stops. I don't want to over tighten this because it'll it'll break. Right. There. Okay. Now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna do one and a half turns out. That's the starting point. So half turn, half turn, that's one, one and a half. Okay, one and a half turns out. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put these back on. So this gets put like that. This little piece right here goes right in. Whoops. And if anybody does this, just try to be very careful because if you lose that piece, that little small black round piece, it's very expensive to replace, unfortunately. Okay, spring. Okay. Pop it down like that, hold it down, and put my screw, line the screws up, screw in, like so, take my drill carefully, like that, like that, okay, that one's now done, oh, let's see here, now I'm going to 
put the throttle pl put the um, throttle cable plate back on. All right. Now there is a long neck and no neck. Okay. Now there there are two different there are two different size screws to this. Okay. Now I even get the I even get this mixed up quite often. And I shouldn't, but I do. Whoops. So flies out of my hand like that. Just try not to do that. <laughs> All right. There we go. Put this like that. That. That's done. Uh, I can put the overflow tube on like that. Okay, that's that. Okay, now I'm gonna worry about putting the. Let's see here. I'm gonna put the. This is the uh, uh, main jet flow tube, and on top of here is the main jet. I'm gonna put this. Well, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna put this in first. Okay, so this this is the diaphragm. Okay, and there is a. So let me show you this real quick here. Okay, right. Okay, now this is what it looks like. Okay, it's got a little C clip on there, and inside of it's got two holes. Sorry, inside of it, as you can see, it's got two holes. You put the fuel needle in right in the middle hole. Okay, and then you take. Okay, this little it looks like it looks like, uh, like a, I guess like an eraser with uh, three tabs on the side of it. Okay, drop that down in there. All right, and what you do is you put you basically put it like this. Okay, all right, like all right. So I wanted to apologize for one thing. This right here is a um, oh this it's this is where the field needle. Uh, goes in comes out all right and this first hole here whoops let me drop it down okay so the smaller end goes down inside of here drops in like that okay <clears throat> now take this okay and sometimes it may not there we go. Sometimes it may not seat right. So all you do is when you put this in, you just have to wiggle a little bit, wiggle the carburetor, wiggle this a little bit, and it pops right in. And it or it seats right in. Okay. Take the pilot jet. Alright. See this just like this. Okay, and that. Okay. Now I take the float. All right, there's a bar. Okay, bar goes through here. Fuel needle goes, hooks right on that tab right there. Now, fuel tab drops right in there. That pops right in there like so. Screw gets put right here. And that okay, so that's good. Now I can put the bowl back on. Okay, so there is a there is a there is a hole here, hole here, and a hole here. Okay, the hole here, hole here, hole here. So it actually goes in just like that just like that okay take the three screws there one screw goes here and goes there okay it goes here oh what a little thing one little teeny thing i forgot to mention again i do apologize sometimes i have good days sometimes i have bad days all right you have to make sure that this rubber o-ring right here is always seated in place okay now i can go ahead and put this together 
right, flip it, and sets it like that. Okay, now. Now before now before I tighten up before I screw all these screws down, I gotta make sure that the bowl is good because make sure it's good. I don't want to over over tighten them because all it is is soft aluminum. Okay, that's that. Now I have to put the okay. I have to take the diaphragm thing here, put put the uh, spring in. All right. Now, right here, let me show you this. Now, right, right directly on top of this, right, oh, I'm sorry, right where I'm tapping right here, this is that piece that I almost forgot about. It's very easy to forget about too, actually. But that piece right here, it's got a hole on top. So, So what I have to do is that this fuel needle, this fuel needle right here, goes right down, and it seats right. In. All right, folks, I just dis I just discovered something. Okay, this right here is a smaller diaphragm for the top of the carburetor. This is a bigger diaphragm. Okay, so the bit, so the one, so the diaphragm that I got my hands bigger actually went to okay so it went to this yeah so went to this one okay actually see it's all right okay so it went to the went to went to the old carburetor so what i'm gonna do is take take the guts out of that put that right down in there say the same exact way drop that down put this right Smack down in same exact way. See even the oh, I put it back in the same spot. It, yeah, I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, folks. That I do know what I'm doing. It's just not having a very good day. That's all. I do sincerely apologize. All right. So this gets put right down there. Okay. Now there is a little rubber tab here, and is it? An indentation here so I gotta turn it to see it's just like that put my spring on like this okay now now I take my thing here and I drop it in place like this That. All right, so now that the diaphragm's all set, that's all set. So not so the last thing I got to do is hook up the oil enrichener. Okay, there's a gold uh, there's a uh, gold tip here, wider tip a uh, wider here. Okay, so the tip fits down inside of that inside of that uh, little grommet thing down there. Okay, fits down like that. Nice and that. And I gotta go ahead and line. It's a pain. It is a little pain in the butt. It is because you gotta try and get it just, just, just right. If not, it won't, it won't work right. Okay. Let's see if I can start with. Okay, so that's that started. Sorry about that, folks. I just got an Amazon delivery. She didn't mean to scare me, but she did. She came up behind me inside of my garage and really scared, scared the poopy doopy out of me. Sorry about that. There. Take this. Drop it down. And there it goes. 
There we go. I knew I get it. I knew I get get it screwed down eventually, and that's that's good. Now we make sure the other sides uh, tighten down. Okay. All right. So I'm at the I'm at the scooter now, as you can see. Now I'm going to go ahead and hook the carburetor up. Okay. This goes through here. Okay. The, tighten up the Phillips screw for the clamp. Okay, that's that. Take the auto enrichener. Right, take, yeah, take the auto enrichener, which is right. Here it is. Oop, it was hooked in there. Okay. So take the auto enrichener, which is right here. That, okay, that's done. I have to connect the throttle cable. Put it through the loop right here. And then I go and then I have to go back on the other side. And Go back on the other side. Pull down the throttle, uh, the throttle plate thing here. Okay, and it does go in a little, not hard, but it goes in a little tricky. It's all. Oh, oh, still not. It's in there crooked. There it goes. All right, now take the nut. Screw the nut back up on top of the, uh, the throttle cable. Adjust it. All right. All right. And now. Now I take my 7 16 open wrench and I basically tighten up the nut. Just like that. Okay. You don't want to over tighten them too much because you may uh, strip them out because all it is is soft aluminum. Like that. Alright, so that's that. Now, now I have to hook up the Okay, and I gotta hook up the, uh, sorry about this. Okay, now I have to hook up the, uh, the, the tubing that goes to the carburetor, fuel tubing. Okay, that, that's done. Okay, so that's that. That's all hooked up. That's done. And, This is the uh, fuel sending unit connector. I don't know why I unplugged this before that's done. All right, so that's all set and hooked up. That's all hooked up, that's on. All right, so the only left to do is put the, put the filter the gas, or I could just take the, take the gas cans in the garage, put some gas in it and so. Got gas in the car. I got gas in the gas tank. Everything's everything seems to be all set up. The only thing I might have to do when hopefully I get the scooter running is do some carburetor adjustments. So let's try it. Up a little bit more. Actually, I'm gonna put you inside so that way you can see. 
exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Alright. Turn the key on, hit that on. Alright, I gotta bring the uh charge the battery charger to 50 amps. Adjustments here. Now I'm messing with the um, idle speed screw. That. Okay. Now, now, I'm, now I'm adjusting the idle mixture screw. Okay. So half turn. Half turn. Again. All right, so half turn, half turn, that's one, one and a half, two. So I got a two full complete turns out of the mixture screw and the idle screw. I got it set hopefully where it should be. I guarantee it. Okay, try it again. Okay, I'm adjusting the idle speed screw again. Let's bring it all the way up. Like I said, the scooter is very, 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 very finicky. Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right. So I'm gonna keep adjusting it, and once I get the scooter started, then I'll then I'll explain how I did it and go from there. All right, everybody. Um, I got the scooter running finally. It took a lot to adjust the carburetor to get the carburetor not where I, it's where it's at and I got it running, but it still needs fine tweaking. So, here it is. Uh. Okay, so it's running. Yeah. I think there's a slight vacuum leak. Um, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna take the intake manifold off, which is this part right here that I'm tapping. And what I'm gonna try to do is take it off and see if I can see if any crack, because I know it's like a plastic, uh, like a plastic uh, washer, okay, or like a flat, a, a black plastic gasket down in there. So I'm gonna see if it broke or something happened. This is what I came up with. I did some adjustments on the on the scooter's carburetor and it's still bogging down. So I did a little bit of Google research to find out because I don't know if I, don't, I live in Florida. So I don't know if it's lower al altitude or higher altitude than I'm in. I don't know. So, um, but the scooter does run. It just runs just a touch poor. I'm going to call it quits for right now but i'm gonna do some more research so that's it for this video like comment share subscribe see you next video peace